In the 1980s, I joined with other youth in rallies to speak against one, the nuclear arms race, two, racism, and three, environmental destruction. I was all for nuclear disarmament, rights for Aborigines, and save the environment. I remember wearing a Surface Paradise t-shirt renamed Investor's Paradise. (laughs) It reflected the sentiment of Midnight Oil song Dreamworld about how natural coastlands were being turned into rampant capital gain and the loser was the environment. Well, today these are still serious issues and I would think that the situation is in fact worse, not better, after reading reports on environmental destruction and reports on rising mental illness in the communities of Indigenous people. And sadly, instead of readdressing these problems, it seems like pop culture itself, we just jump into the next fad in the name of progress. And what is the next fad? Same-sex marriage. Well, so much for a focus on the environment, the Indigenous people, because same-sex marriage is opposite to both these causes. Same-sex marriage is anti-environment. It does not respect nature. Whether you call her Mother Earth or Father God's creation, we now stand as strange creatures on this planet who do not even respect the basic truth that life is formed by the union of male and female, therefore an institution like marriage. And it respects this. Nature shows us that life comes from a male sperm and a female egg. The lesbian, gay, bisexual and transsexual community Uh, shortened to LGBT, even acknowledged this by using a different term for two women, lesbian, and a a term for two men, gays, and bisexual is someone who has both male and female. Note that a bisexual is not considered to be a quadrisexual, as if there are four different gender identities. This is all the madness of modern social science that is going against nature, going against the environment. And so what's this going to mean in the day comes when we decide to destroy the environment because we don't care about it and we've become so human proud. Secondly, same-sex marriage is anti-Indigenous people. The Indigenous communities do not want same-sex marriage. The Bark Petition backs true marriage. More than 70 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from across the nation have made this point clear. But they've just been pushed aside. They haven't been given the respect as traditional custodians of the land and what their views are. And this just shows that same-sex marriage is, is very much an agenda for some people and just pushing away others. And so what is this going to come to in the end? Can we all live in harmony together? No, this is going to just create uh, ethnic confusion. It's also just no respect for our Asian nations. We're a part of Asia and and we're just um, showing that we don't care less. You know, this is a a new apartheid. There's not apartheid based on racism, but apartheid on gender. Like, look at this picture, you know, why can't I have a white friend? Well, this is a black girl living in an apartheid. And now this is the new apartheid, same-sex marriage. Why can't I have a mummy? Well, this is an all-male house. No females allowed, you know. And this is what we're doing. We, we're after fighting so hard in, to get rid of these things, to get rid of the um, racism. All this has happened because selfishness wins. And I don't know why we are told the same-sex marriage is tolerant. Because it's the total opposite. Same-sex marriage is a world where I only love what I am. It's a world where I'm a man, so I'll, I'll just love men things, you know. Traditional marriage makes a tolerant society in that as a maleness, I must give equal worth to, support and love to a femaleness. Even though I might prefer maleness, I say, well, I've got to be here for femaleness and vice versa. And also, when we look at ethnic groups... Uh, to have rules of, of that break down racial discrimination are good because, you know, here I am a white person, I must respect the black, brown, red, yellow, you know, the different people and put it in that categories. Uh, so this is good, but same-sex marriage is institutionalising a homo self-same love, uh, not the hetero other, not I must have respect and have courtesy for the other, but I just love what I am myself. And so I don't know why the left has taken up this issue in this nation. I was playing music in the 1980s and the homosexual lobby actually hated marriage. They mocked marriage in their gay Mardi Gras and and mocked Fred Niles and all these things. They they sang the village people song Liberation and and Queen, you know, I want to break free. It was a liberation movement. It says we don't want to be institutionalised. Just let us have our life. We don't want a part of this, you know, society of marriage. And now... They're saying, you know, we want to be a part of marriage. Marriage is an institution, you know, it has rules, regulations, promises and vows overseen by government, economy, legal firms. You know, the the argument for same-sex marriage is, it's strange because people are not really talking about it. They're just saying, oh, we've got to let the uh, 
LGBT community express their true love. But think of that, you know, a, this is really odd. Imagine in a gay bar, you know, two women go in and they talk to another two women and they say, we're married, are you married? They say, no. They say, oh, what, you don't truly love each other like us. We truly love each other. See, all the legalism and, and uh, this kind of we're better than you because we're institutionalized what we've done this this comes to a community that's calling itself a liberation movement in fact the 90s liberation movement is dead in all this it's just being institutionalized and i'm not a libertine but but i just wonder why why does this community want this you know there, there's something sinister here you know I, i'm happy to be married and uh i'm happy to be confined to rules look at this corridor I don't mind being institutionalized. I don't mind being told, you know, these are my boundaries. I've made vows. I've got to be faithful to my wife. I can't uh, chase other people, you know. Uh, but that's me, you know. I, I'm a Jesus freak who finds joy in obeying. So I can understand that attitude. But I'm trying to think, wow, as a libertine, if I, I was a libertine, you know, why am I having this great push for same-sex marriage? You know, this is uh, an interesting point.